to show you that there's awesome people that are making a difference on the planet that are incredible entrepreneurs. They have incredible ideas, but they can't get access to banks, not yet at least. So that's why they need us. We say power to the people, and that's what the Marijuana Show is. We're putting that together and coaching them and then getting them in front of investors so that they could become the next Marijuana Millionaire. And the next Marijuana Millionaire could be right out there waiting to come in and audition right now. And that's what makes me really excited. And we're here to help take them all the way from seed to bank. Seed to bank. I am seeking and hoping for mm -hmm. 100,000, 200,000 to go global. I would like to become the national poster mom for awareness of cannabis and safety of narcotics and prescription medication in the home. What would the 100,000 or 200,000 get us if we wanted to give it to you? And why is there such a spread between 100 and 200,000? If I'm able to get uh, anywhere from between one to ten million dollars, what we can do is begin to set up a dispensary depending on the levels. There would be a dispensary to start bringing in some of the money as well as starting to do a hemp farm thing. And how nice. much money are you looking for? Probably at least 500000 500? Okay. Let's go! Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready Thank to book it. Much. I'm ready to book my really appointment good. there. I wish you were open. <laughs> After hearing all these great pitches, I was just like, ah! But uh, it's mentally exhausting. It really is. So that's my challenge is just keeping my energy up to be brilliant. I appreciate what you're saying. Uh -huh. I have some issues. Go ahead. One, no business plan. Uh -huh. Number two, no permits. Uh -huh. No, nothing to pay it forward. So what I what I suggest is we're in complete agreement with you. Uh -huh. Is to go and even be a bud tender or whatever to learn more about the dispensary business. Mm -hmm. Learn your regulations. Mm -hmm. For sure. Appreciate it. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you for Thank your time. You. Uh, I got the exposure, I got to get, get through that little bit of nervousness uh, to see what it is to really begin presenting ideas in the future. So how much do you need? 500,000 to a million, 500, million. Really, No, that's way out of whack, sorry about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, I'm interested in talking to you more. I think that there's some way for you to work with the show in terms of education and things like that. I'm not We're necessarily not sure about, about the callbacks. Callback. We need to talk more internally. So, I'm willing to share a small percentage of my company for a $42,000 investment. The money from the investment will be carefully spent on things like certifications, testing, legal fees to go along with my trademark, materials, and advertisement. Cool. Great. Right. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for your time, man. Really appreciate oh my God, I appreciate it. I was a little bit nervous. I would have probably did things a little bit different if I wasn't so nervous, I guess. We have to be active. We have to take a responsibility as adults and parents to provide safety to our kids oh, yeah. and, you know, prevent accidental exposure to weapons, narcotics, cannabis, um, all kinds of things. So now that you all have heard my pitch, who's ready to light the cannabis industry on fire with hemp butter all in one? We yeah! are! We are! Yeah. <laughs> you that nailed great. You pitch. nailed that pitch. We are we are in love with your product and we definitely want you to come to the call. We back. definitely want you to call. I'm very honored and thank you, Colorado, for inviting me all the way from the East Coast. Woo! All right. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, we'd like you to come back at 3.30 for a callback. Yay! Awesome. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Oh. Congratulations. Jeez, guys. Good job. Thank you. Hi, welcome to the callbacks. Thank you. My biggest fear is rejection, which leads to my biggest challenge, which is the next step of my business, going about getting into stores. So with that fear, I'm not sure how to go to a store and say, look, I know I have an awesome product. I've sold plenty of it. People love it. I have repeat customers. Put it on your shelf. It sounds easier than it is, but that's what my fear is, rejection. I don't want people to say no. Awesome. So the biggest thing you need to do is just know that no turns into a yes. You're just one step closer. So I'd like you to approach 100 people uh, in a week in terms of just retail stores. You had total confidence, total belief. You knocked it out of the park in terms of the pitch. You've got a great product. You've got a great personality 
comes down to believing in yourself. Even if you have to bring your best friend with you, I don't want to see that person on camera. Well, uh, it's okay. <laughs> that person be on camera. If 100 is too easy, you tell us honestly, because what I need you to do is, whatever that number is, is get past that fear so that that never shows up again, ever, until there's no fear of rejection. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself, we do. Yep. Great. Awesome. Thank, you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. you coming from DC. Uh, so I pretty much just was honest and let, let the ladies know that I'm scared of rejection. Uh, this has been something that's led to me not taking that next step and actually going out to stores and getting this great product on the shelf. So with you know their help and encouragement, um, I'm challenging myself in addition to their challenge of going out to a hundred different stores um, and presenting my product just like I did in there. And any no's will be canceled out by many yeses. About an hour ago, I was challenged by the directors of the marijuana show to go out to a hundred different locations to shop my product and have better all in one. Just so you know, Wendy and Karen, I accept your challenge. So I'm here sitting in the lobby at High Street Growers waiting to speak to the manager. So I'm just leaving High Street Growers. I spoke with Calvin and he sounded pretty enthusiastic. They have a couple of other uh, similar products, but nothing's quite like him but are all in one. I got a lot of feedback from the people within the whole body department. They were really feeling the product. They liked everything about it from the texture to the simplicity of the ingredients to the look of the packaging. So that's exactly what I was going for in creating this. So I couldn't hope for better results. Thank you, MJ Reality Show, for pushing me to step out of my shell and make things happen. How did your sales go? When, when we met with you, Wendy said, I'd like to see you sell 48 of these. How did that go? Um, yes, when you challenged me to sell 50 bags, mm -hmm. or 40 bags. I then um, reached out to different people, and I got on my Facebook and started asking people to like my page. Um, I did wind up selling the target mark of 40. I did two radio shows this week. I'm doing a grand opening tomorrow. I'm also doing another grand opening where they feel my bags are still very rare in um, Aurora. Congratulations. Um, That's you. awesome. Yeah. So I was tough on you, but it, I, pay, yeah. it paid off. And I respect you for being tough on me. And I've been reading your book. And I went to the library and got books on sales and the arts of sales. My biggest fear, oh man, is I live in a really, sorry, conservative area. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> losing friends. Sorry. You're losing, losing friends. friends. Because of what you're doing yes. as a career. And and my oldest brother is a a minister. So he's really oh. I don't want them to don't ask me to tell him. Okay. We won't challenge you to do that, but we do have a challenge that Wendy and I already talked about which is to get your local politicians and talk with them and have a sit down breakfast with them and convince them that it's a really good idea for the area for the prosperity of your community to not only legalize it, but to allow you to create this spa that you want to create. It's not going to, it's educating them. So what it'll do is it'll give you the opening to be able to work with and to talk to your family. But you start with somebody that's a politician and really understand what are their fears, what's going on. And to really understand the myths and to overcome them so you have an answer and you're not defensive, you're just simply, that's what our whole show is about. Yeah. And that way you can go and eventually when you're ready, you'll talk to your family. Okay. That's your challenge. That's your challenge. Okay. Got it? I can do that. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate it. Awesome. If you've got a politician that will not understand the importance of this issue and the problem that we created, then you need to throw them out of office.
the Chamber of Commerce and Palisade uh, ha is not taking any official stance on the marijuana vote in November. However, we wanted to talk to their board chairman. Would you like to make a few comments? Certainly. So the, the main problem or sort of issue that we have to get over is that there are federal dollars involved with saying that you're a supporter of marijuana. Of course. So if you say that, then then the federal dollars can't come. However, we in Palisade think there should be an out-and-out -out marijuana fest. <laughs> Not it's time to shake it up.